Good evening, YouTube. Stuart again here from Mr. Talker 250 channel. It's in the evening here out in the time machine, aka my wood, my wood turning shed. Tonight I've got a bowl that uh, has a bowl blank that has made an appearance on my channel before. Uh, several, well, back this spring, late winter, maybe. I'm not remembering exactly, but anyway, it's a piece of red bud and I posted a short video of my, uh, myself cutting it to round. Uh, and when I got done with it, one of the comments I received from Hugh Davies of the Wouldn't It Be Nice channel said, oh, I'd like to see that get finished. And so when I, I, when I, I went and dug the piece of wood out of the shed a few days later and wrote, Hugh Davies bowl on it. Um, I don't know if you can see it there. I don't know if you can read that if it's upside down or how it's playing out. But anyway, uh, it's uh, it's, it's time to go on the lathe. So tonight is the night. Here it is. Um, I'm going to put it between centers, which is something I don't do very much, but a lot of turners do it this way. And I'm open to trying something new. I'm not afraid to learn. Um, it's uh, just kind of an experiment here. Back my tail stock in a little bit. Come up here. So you're gonna. I'm gonna turn this tonight. I'm trying to see how balanced it is. As you can see, there's some splits in the end. The bark's probably wants to come off, but and will come off, I'm sure. But anyway, let's see how balanced I can get this. So Always a game you play with these things. Alright, we're gonna power up here. Let's speed turn down to nothing. Better put it on forward. That was 324 RPMs according to the gauge, which you can't see because it's on my side of the lathe. Let's try that. That looks a little better. Get a little more speed here. And that's 940. Yeah, a little bit of vibration, but not bad. That's 1004. I think I'll run with it at that speed, which some of you are probably going, oh my God, what are you doing? But I have learned that sometimes there's a threshold and you, uh, once you get the piece of wood, it might be unbalanced at, you know, at a speed that you probably would think would be more likely to turn it at. But uh, when you get past that threshold, that speed threshold, where it's wobbling all over the place, and get a little higher speed, it seems to come back into balance. I don't know why that is. I'm not an engineer. I flunked out of calculus in college, so anyway, um, because I'm recording this on my phone, I may stop at some point and there'll be a part two, maybe a part three, who knows. It's also uh, about 8.30 at night 
here on the east coast of the U.S. So I got to get to bed because I got to be at work in the morning. So anyway, let's just see what happens tonight, folks. Heard some flapping, and of course, it's loose bark. So let's get rid of it. Better take it off now before it comes flying off at me. That's one thing I've learned as I've in the three-ish years I've been turning is that when the lathe starts making, when you start hearing funny sounds. Stop and see what's going on. Because you could save your... That's a warning sign that you need to pay attention to. I'm using my spindle lock here. In case you're wondering, this is just a cheap Home Depot chisel. Um, and if you're wondering about who Who You Davies is, you need to go check out the Wouldn't It Be Nice channel. They're on YouTube. Hugh's a real nice Welshman. Really makes him awesome. He's a, mainly a pen turner from what I've observed, but uh, he also is into cars. He has several has some videos on there of him and his wife driving around in a car club around through Wales on sunny days. It looks like a beautiful place. I hope maybe someday when I retire, to, my wife and I can go to the UK and maybe stop in and visit, meet Hugh and his wife for lunch or something someday. And maybe even go down to Cornwall and meet uh, Andy Paramore and his wife. Uh, Andy's Cornish Creations, another good channel. Andy makes all kinds of cool little animals and things uh, for big, great crafts, fair items and stuff. I don't do a lot of that stuff, but it's interesting to see it be made and the creativity. And, and Andy's another nice guy from the UK. So anyway, check out Hugh's channel. I've learned a lot from him. And he's always very kind. And... Well worth watching. Well worth watching. All right. Well, let's get back to it. Make sure we spin the lock out. And then we'll get it quick sharpen up on the old Wood River Vanos. For those of you in the U.S., I'm going to just keep narrating while I 
of a recorded run. If you know what about what, what the Woodcraft stores are, they are it's a chain store, of woodworking supplies here in the U.S. Uh, they sell in the, their Wood River brand of, of turning tools. This is their 5 8 bowl gouge. It's, it says right on it, it's just high speed steel made in China, but it's got a really deep flute. As you can see, I've got more of an Irish grind or uh, Irish grinder, uh, I forget the other name for it, but anyway, a swept back design. Don't ask me the angles because I don't know. But uh, let me fire up the grinder here. I like this tool. I didn't think I would at first, but it's a good gouge. I recommend it to anybody. You can see the cracks. No on this side. I tried to put CA in this side, but it just wasn't enough. Well, let's keep going.
Not sure really this lovely. I'm trying to get that last few passes with the carbide where to get this front edge right along here to all the same plane. You can see I got it up here, but not there. So just keep plugging along here. this right here and that's almost that's close enough you your bubbles getting shore shallower by the second <laughs> Things that make you go, hmm, see how much bark residual we have there on this side. And then there's the other side. Oh well. That's the thing about wood. You just plan the best you can and whatever you get, what you get. Amazing how much difference a sharp gouge. This is my 3 8 hurricane bowl gouge, which I like as well.
try and get the tenon worked out here. For scoring up tenons, I just use an old half inch skew. This is a Benjamin's Best brand. This is a, one of a, a set of uh, eight tools that I bought early on when I first started turning. I bought them off Amazon. Which everybody says, oh, don't do that, you don't need all that. Technically, that is correct. You don't need all that. Because there's a bunch of stuff in there I don't hardly, I, I don't ever use. But it just so happens that it's the right angle. If you can see it there, this is the correct angle for the dovetail in my Nova Chuck. But my one way stronghold chuck it doesn't have dovetail jobs. It's just got regular jobs. So I just go in with the point straight and get it done. Alright, let's try and get a little this smoothed out and I'll put it in the job. Trying to watch the horizon, not down at the tool rest, which you can't see. Still kind of rough, but that's okay. Buggers were hot. I know what I mean. The skew. Still got a little bit of naturalness, but that's okay. And this tenon looks to be two and a quarter inches, so about 30 millimeters, I would guess. Thirty-four? I don't know. What I'm going to do is throw some CA in these cracks and call it a night. What CA are you using, Stuart? I'm using the Harbor Freight. Those little 10 packs are $2.99. For a point 
a three gram tube. And I'll go in and buy two 10 packs and have more than more than enough for what I need. But anyway, you guys have all seen somebody CA crack, so I'll see you next time. It's 27 minutes in. Have a good night.